Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Chanel and today's video will be an update on my year-long project pan 23 and 2023. So if you want to see all the products that I've either emptied or made progress on, then just keep watching. But don't forget to like and subscribe. I do post lots of project panning videos over here on my channel so you don't want to miss out on that. And um, I do want to miss... Blah, blah, blah. I do want to make a disclaimer um, if I look a little funny it's because I only have one contact in. Um, the other one ripped in my eye and my eye was irritated and I had to remove it. I don't know how red this eye is still, so my makeup and everything doesn't look good. I was going to apply lashes, but I didn't want to irritate my eyes further. And I didn't want to take this one out and irritate this one by accident or it rip or something. So we're just going to ignore the fact that my eyes are two different colors right now. Okay, um, and I need to go grab one product and then we'll get started. Starting off with our first product is the Kors uh, Mediterranean, 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 Mediterranean Vanilla Blossom Body Butter. So um, it does have a marking of right here and we are, oops, I'm getting lotion on it. We're down here, so I will mark it so you guys can see, but yeah, we're like around here. So I will mark it for next update and I'm just applying a little bit of lotion. Um, just because my hands are really, really dry, I do wash my hands a lot. And I guess we will keep the theme going with like the non makeup ish items and we'll save like the makeup items for last. So, next up, we have the Versace Bright Crystal. I will insert a picture somewhere right here if I have one. And it's pretty much almost empty, as you guys can see. There's a little bit at the corner. So, we'll keep trying to use that until it's done. And I use that every day for work and it's going well so i do really love that one have a backup of it always purchase that one after using um one up every year so i do have my um next fragrance which is the black opium by yves saint laurent and we were um here at this green line i don't know if you're gonna be able to see it last month right here at this green line and um now we're here i marked it with some nail polish so we should be done by next update if i use this every day Maybe here's a, I don't know how to make it clear enough for you to see, but yeah, we did make a little bit of progress. And um, I guess now we will jump into like the, did I finish off a primer? Yes, let's start off with primer. Um, I did finish off the um, new by Yves Saint Laurent. So yeah, it's empty. It looks like there's air or product in there, but there's nothing I can squeeze out. So this one is going into my empties bin right behind me. So that one was a decent primer. I'm not really a primer person. I don't really buy primers. I just use up free ones that I get. So it was nice to have gotten one out. Next, let's talk foundation. Let's talk the number one to Chanel foundation. So I was right here. I remarked it because the green Sharpie came off. Now I'm right here. I use this every day for work. Um, then this foundation came into my life and I was using this nonstop. And then this one came into my life and now I've been using this one nonstop. So um, I still mix this one in with the other ones. Today I am wearing a combination of this Chanel one, this Chanel one, and another foundation that I am going to talk about. But I do think we made great progress. Super, super happy about this one. It's a good everyday foundation. And um, yeah, I just really super enjoy that product. It was like my number one foundation that I used last year. So I'm glad that it's making its way out of my collection because it is a year old now so um next up we do have the la beige foundation which we were here at the green line and i did mark a pink line so i didn't make that much progress but this was just my weekend foundation i wore this um just on the weekends and then my number one to chanel during the week even if i was mixing it in with other ones same for la beige i was mixing it in with my other chanel foundation i was mixing it in with this one Today I have all three of these foundations mixed in. Number one to Chanel, the Ultra Le Tint, and the Le Beige. And I will say this is a very smooth, nice combo, so I'm happy with that. Um, this is not in a project pan, but these are, and these are getting used. So I do think the number one Chanel foundation could be used up um, by the end of February or my March update and um the la beige will probably be done like when summer starts at the rate that we're going 
but hopefully I can start using more of this in my concoctions and then like a little bit of this or a little bit of this. So we will just see how we use this, but um, this one has a 12 month shelf life and I think that got, I got this like in April. So this isn't even a year old yet. Um, so this one will get done eventually. So, um, that's just where we are with our foundations for concealer. I, uh, did finish off my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, um, concealer. This is where we were last time. Oh no, this is the Power Fabric Concealer. Um, this is where we were last time. It was just like a guesstimate. And I did take the stopper out. And as you can see, there is nothing along the edges that I can get. So, and then the wand comes off clean. So yeah, this one is dried out and dusted. So, super, super happy that we got another empty out of our way. I'm going to put it in my empties right behind me. Um, I did forget one other empty... So I will show you a picture where we were at last update for my Muggler perfume. And here we are today. This thing is empty. I use this every single day until it was gone. So I'm going to put that in my empties as well. Um, let's move on to, um, I guess, powder. So I do have my Dior powder. No powder. I use this maybe once or twice and put it away. So not something I'm currently using, but I probably will when I get a little bit deeper just because it is a pretty dark powder. And then our loose powder, which I do believe is in this project, is this uh, Dior powder, their forever cushion powder in the shade light. And if it's not in this um, project pan, I do apologize. And um, I did cut the mesh so you kind of can see how much is in there. Um, but yeah, I'm using that maybe once on once a week or so so this one's going to be definitely slow going as well and i think i do have my other powders right here i did put uh, my charlotte tilbury airbrush Fa airbrush fault airbrush flawless in the shade um what is it fair to light in here which this used to be my bronzer that i finished up in 2021 i want to say so yeah, um, there definitely is a difference. I'll insert a picture of where we were last update and where we are now. I'm super, super proud of myself that I made a little bit of progress considering that I don't like this one as much as the other powder that I'm about to show you. So I will insert a picture of where we were last time on our airbrush uh, brightening powder in the lighter shade, Pelta Light. I will insert a picture where we were. And here we are now. We have a lot of pan showing and I really do love this powder. I did top off the other two powders with this one. I am wearing all three of my Project Pan powders and I really like how smooth and matte I look. So yeah, this one's a good one. I use it every day for work. Everyone always gives me compliments at work. On the powder, they always say, what do you do to your makeup? So looks so good. I love the way your makeup looks. And people are telling me that every single day, my coworkers and... Yeah, and I'm telling them, it's this freaking magic powder that just blurs your skin and, and mats it out without looking drying, drying or cakey. You just look super amazing with this on. And um, yeah, everyone is like, okay, I need to get that. And I've also had other people, because my, my oils do come through like throughout the day eventually. I don't stay matte like this, but it gives me such a natural glow that people are asking me, what am I doing with my skin to make it look so good? Patients have said like, oh my god, you have a beautiful dewy skin. And I've been super flattered. Um, so yeah, if you are normal to dry and you're worried about being super matte with this, um, don't be. Um, if you do have some type of oils that come through, you will still look good. So I think this is good for oily and dry people uh, and everyone in between. So yeah, that powder is good if you haven't tried it. I highly recommend that powder. I'm definitely going to get a backup as soon as I finish this like... I cannot live without this. This is amazing. Next up, we have bronzers. And if you can tell by the thumbnail, um, I do have major pan on this one. So I will insert a picture where we were last updating where we are now. It's my everyday bronzer. It's what I'm wearing today. And it's so smooth and matte and good. And yeah, when my foundation looks too light, I can go super ham with this and not look powdery, not look super orange. Like this is amazing. 
your forever natural bronze and five warm bronze you're gonna love it if you're my skin tone highly recommend this bronzer and i've only recently fallen in love with it in the past i hated it so i'm glad that i gave a lot of makeup besides that product a lot of products a second chance because some of these things are expensive to just throw away and toss so i'm glad that i'm project panning this and getting all my enjoyment and use out of it as well as my money's worth so next up we have our M Cosmetics bronzer. This is a corselet sculpting bronzer and slip. If I have a picture of where we were last update, I will insert it now. And here we are. Oh my God, look at that pan. Um, I don't know how much more I've expanded it, but I have used it a little bit. I would say maybe five to 10 times. So I think there should be a little bit of progress, hopefully. Um, we are going to talk setting spray. Um, I did make the little, most tiniest bit of progress. Hopefully I can finish this off, uh, in February or March. I've been using this one that's not in a project pan a lot more, but although this one's finer, I can get a little bit more dried out with this one. And with this one, I find that that doesn't happen, but this one, the sprayer sucks. So I'm hoping if the professional super setter by benefit ever goes on sale in the full size, um, that I can purchase a big bottle to see if the sprayer works good because I think the product is actually good but it's kind of hard to gauge if it is or not because of how it splatters on your face and you have to kind of try to tap off the little splatter marks. So yeah, this is one that I want to hopefully try again in the future to see if I really like it or not. And um, let's see, where else are we? I guess we will talk brows. Um, today the one that's in my brows is this one. This is the NYX Brow Glue. Um, I don't think there's much progress on it because I've only used it a little bit. But yeah, we're making a steady like usage on it, I guess. Um, I've been using it in my brows on the weekends. It's what I have in my brows today. I do enjoy this brow, um, gel. And then next up, we have the Patrick Ta, uh, what is this called? Shaping Wax in the shade Tinted. I will insert a picture of where we were last time, and I did use this one probably a, a good few times because I feel like it does look a little different. So here's the before, and yeah, here's where we are now. I think it does look super uh, used, in my opinion. I think um, it's a decent product, but it's more on the clear side than tinted for me. But again, I have darker brows, so it's kind of hard to tell. Um, and let's see what's next. We have the NYX Control Freak. I have not used this one since it being in my project pan. It does have a six month shelf life. I have had it open for more than six months. Um, it doesn't smell off, but hopefully I get to uh, use this before it expires. So. I'm thinking when either one of these go, I will focus on that one. Probably when this one goes, because it's nice to have something that just has a wand and you just apply it really quickly, opposed to having to wet this one and use a spoolie. So we will use our brow products as much as possible because on the daily, I'm using my ABH one, which I don't think is in this project. So um, I guess that leaves us with lips. For lips, my everyday lip is this Dior one. It was supposed to be my everyday lip, but it turns out this other one that's not in a project pan by uh, by Gucci is my everyday lip, and that's all I have left of this one. So no use of ever putting this one in a project pan, although I should have probably put this one in the project pan. So yeah, this one was supposed to be my everyday lip, but this is more my everyday lip balm. So whenever I'm home or getting ready to go out or something like that, getting ready for work or getting ready to go somewhere this uh dior lip color is the one i'm reaching for i'll give you guys a nice swatch of the color uh, peachy warm color so here's where we were last update and here is where we are at now super super proud of myself i am using this a lot and it is nice and creamy so it is getting used up um, the only gripe I have with it is that it comes out of the lip line, so that's why this cannot be my everyday lip. I can't go out in public looking a hot mess. So this is one that I'm just using as a lip balm at home. Uh, an expensive one at that, but I do want to get my money's worth and use this up. This is like $40, $45 or something. So yeah, we're going to use her up. And 
um then we'll focus on some more expensive lipsticks up there as i use them up um next up we have lip liners which i do have one um empty um i think i'm missing one more lip liner let me see okay i have all of them here now so this one is the um what is this one pat mcgrath contour i will show you where we were last update and here we are now this guy is totally empty as you guys can see there's no lead in there so this one was my everyday lip liner and i was wearing that with my gucci lipstick every single day and it just contours your lips perfectly like the name suggests so also putting that in my empties so when you guys see my um january empties you guys will see all the beautiful products that i used up next up we have this um chanel lip gloss i'll show you where we were last update and where we are now so i don't know if you guys can see there is some windowing here um it is about right there that's where the windowing is so this is the gloss that you guys see me applying in every single video and this is what the gloss looks like every time i'm applying a lip gloss it's this one it's like a um purpley mauvey cool tone nude color super super pretty i was wearing like a pinky red lipstick and this just made it more uh mauvey nude but still pretty nonetheless i think it goes with our cooler tone eyes but mm, so good and now i guess we'll talk our lip liners um i think the one we have the most progress on might be my kkw i haven't really compared them all um this is the one i was using the most on the weekends so this is kkw and here we are for our before and here we are for our after so this is how much product we have left and i'll give you a swatch of this one so i think this is the one i use the most it's like this cooler tone nude again sometimes i feel like it's just not right for me and the color will move around um i am using a charlotte tilbury lip liner right now and i feel like even though i have gloss and everything everything's in place with this one i feel like everything gets outside of the lip line next we have this kylie one which i'll show you where we were last time and here we are now so this one i think has probably less use i haven't seen the comparison again i will give you a swatch of this one this one's more of a pinkier mauve nude and it's super super pretty so this one is a super super uh good pink color it is called bear and i do love these mauves type of colors so yeah i think this is one that i can get some use on until it's done so these are a little more slow going since i use other other colors on a daily basis since these don't really stay where i want them to and then the gucci lip liner um is probably still the same i don't think i've used it so yeah comparison from last time till now i think it's the same and then i will give you a swatch of this one as well and it's just like this nude brown color um a little lighter than what i like so i think this one um will be panned but it's not something i probably will repurchase just because it's not deep enough for what i like so i believe those were all the products that i had to talk to you guys about and i think we kind of slimmed down our so i do believe that we pared down our panning um items to about 17 items if i count it correctly so um i i don't think i will be doing like a rolling style project pan for this particular project pan um just because i want to get these certain items out and then participate in other project pans but what I didn't say in my intro video is that I would like to pan these items and um, only work on these items up until September. And once September hits, um, I'm going to do a 30 by 30. So I'll be turning 29 on September 21st. So from September 21st of 2023 to 2024 will give me a whole year to um, work on 30 different products um i don't know how that structure of the project pan will be if i will pick all 30 all at once or project pan like 10 at a time until i get to the 30 just because picking 30 all at once is a lot um wait 17 18 19 oh it was 19 products that we have um here but anywho um yeah that's all i have for you guys i hope you guys really enjoyed this project pan update i think i'm doing amazing and i want to keep the momentum going and hopefully i will have a handful of empties to share to share with you guys in the next update 
Um, let me know what you're project planning in the comment section down below. And until next time, have an amazing, blessed day or night wherever you are. Mwah. Bye.